identify 15 eighths or 15 over 8 as a proper or an improper fraction, or an improper fraction. So this is actually just a good review of proper and improper fractions. And there's a pretty easy way to identify them. You have a proper fraction if your numerator, so this right here is your numerator, the number on top. If your numerator, so let me just label them numerator and denominator, denominator, nominator. You have a proper fraction if your numerator, if your numerator is less than your denominator. If your numerator is less than your denominator. And if you don't have a proper fraction, you have an improper fraction. So your improper fraction is if your numerator, if your numerator is greater than or equal to your denominator. And over here, actually, the, all the numbers are positive. But if you had some negative numbers here, then you would actually say the absolute value of the numerator is less than the absolute value of the denominator for a proper fraction. And the absolute value of the numerator is greater than or equal to the absolute value of a denominator for an improper fraction. So let me just write that down just to be a little bit, just to be a little bit more particular here. Because we could have negative numbers in either the numerator or the denominator. Anyway, let's go back to this problem. 15 is clearly greater than or equal to 8. So 15 is greater than or equal to 8. 15 is greater than or equal to 8. So we are dealing with we are dealing with an improper we are dealing with an improper fraction.